Lumbar Puncture 101. So what is a lumbar puncture? Well, it goes by several different names, including spinal tap, LP, or lumbar puncture. The process involves using a small needle to access the cerebrospinal fluid, or CSF, in the lumbar spine. Why do we do spinal taps? What is the purpose? Well, from a standpoint of ALS research, motor neurons live in the brain and the spinal cord, and they're constantly bathed in the spinal fluid. This provides us with much more direct information than blood or MRI or even EMG testing, which are all relatively indirect methods of getting information about the motor neurons. What can CSF tell us? Well, it may tell us about the cause of ALS in a given patient. It may provide us with protein or other markers that allow us to track the disease progression over time. This can be very useful in the clinic, but also in a clinical trial. Finally, collecting spinal fluid allows us to tell if a drug has actually gotten to the motor neurons. Here's an animation of the lumbar puncture. It's often performed in the office setting or in the radiology suite. The patient is asked to lay on their side or maintain a seated position. The needle must avoid important neurologic structures such as the nerve roots or the cauda equina and the end of the spinal cord called the conus medullaris. Generally, the procedure is performed at the L3, L4 lumbar space, which is well below the conus medullaris so that there is no risk of injury to the spinal cord. The patient usually leans over a table so that the back is arched and the spaces between the vertebrae are opened up to allow the needle to pass unobstructed. After sterilization of the skin, a small needle is used to inject a local anesthetic, such as lidocaine, into the skin in the tissues overlying the spine. Once the area is sufficiently anesthetized, the spinal needle is advanced until it reaches the spinal canal. Although the needle may come into contact with the nerve roots, they are floating in spinal fluid and move away from the needle, preventing damage from occurring. Once the needle is in place, the spinal fluid drips from the needle hub under the natural pressure of the spinal canal, and 10 to 15 milliliters of fluid is collected in sterile vials. This entire procedure usually takes between 20 and 25 minutes. The needle is then removed, and the patient is asked to lay flat for approximately one hour to allow the small puncture site of the spinal canal covering to heal and for the spinal fluid to regenerate. The lumbar puncture is a safe and common procedure. It is critical to obtain spinal fluid for ALS research if we are ever to find a cure for this terrible disease.